Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPad Air 2020 latest update. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The new iPad Air could be one of the next tablets from Apple, after the iPad Pro 2020 from earlier in the year, and if leaks are to be believed it'll bring with it plenty of improvements on its predecessor. The iPad Air is Apple's second most top-end tablet, sitting above the iPad Mini 2019 and entry-level iPad ranges, but not packing all the features and specs of the top-end iPad Pro line. The last entry to the series was the iPad Air 3 in 2019, so this new tablature of what the upcoming Apple tablet will offer. As such, we've also come up with a list of features we'd like to see in the slate, based on what the iPad Air 3 was like, along with the best points of Apple's other tablets, and what the company's competitors are doing in the tablet market. Apple doesn't typically rely on yearly release patterns for its tablets, unlike its phones, which is why the iPad Air 3's March 18, 2019 release date wasn't repeated a year later for the new tablet. Instead, we're expecting to see the new iPad Air at some indiscernible point in the future. We were hoping for a late 2020 release date, and that's still possible, especially as in late August, an unknown Apple slate was listed on a Eurasian Economic Commission EEC, database, something that tends to happen around two months before launch. One report says the new iPad Air could debut alongside the iPhone 12 at the smartphone's launch in September or October 2020, with the Apple Watch 6 in tow too. If true, that means we'll see it pretty soon. That backs up a leak which said that a new iPad will be announced on the week commencing September 7, though that exact date seems very unlikely. Start at $649, roughly £500, for a version with 128GB storage, and that'll only go up for the 256GB and 512GB versions the leak says are coming. Given the previous iPad Air started for $499 and £479, that would be a big price increase in some regions. Apple doesn't always change the cost of its tablets for new iterations though, and instead often discounts the older models to differentiate them. So we're holding out that the new iPad Air won't be too much pricier than its predecessor. The first leak we heard gave us some key possible details about the new iPad Air, it details two big changes the tablet could have over its predecessor. For one, the iPad Air 2020 could have USB-C connectivity, instead of a lighting port, while the other detail mentioned is an 11-inch size, over the 10.5-inch iPad Air 3. These changes would make the new iPad Air 4 seem more like the iPad Pro 2020 than previous models. That could help further differentiate it from the basic iPad range, but risks making it overly similar to the Pro range. Tales, such as whether Touch ID will go away entirely. Another smaller leak suggested the iPad Air will get an in-screen fingerprint scanner, a technology Apple hasn't embraced, despite most top-end Android phones using it. We're not totally convinced that Apple would add this tech to an iPad Air before an iPad Pro though. Advertisement We've had one massive leak though, which concurred with the USB-C and 11-inch assertions, and added a lot more. Apparently the tablet will have a design similar to the iPad Pro, Face ID login, no mention of the in-screen Touch ID though, four stereo speakers, one rear camera, a liquid retina display, and the A14 or A14X Bionic chipset, expected in the iPhone 12. That leak makes the iPad Air 4 seem a lot like an iPad Pro Lite, as if true, the new tablet will have lots of features of the top-end slates. We'll have to see when it's released though. The design comment is intriguing too does this mean the iPad Air could have flat edges or no home button? The iPad Air 3 only worked with the original Apple Pencil, which certainly had its drawbacks, it was a real pain to charge, for example. Recent iPad Pro wants its new iPad Air to work like an iPad Pro Lite instead of a bigger version of the entry-level iPad, this would be the kind of change it needs. The starting price was expected to likely be close to $499, as all previous iPad Air models have started at that cost, but new rumors are giving many a more positive outlook. Nobody's saying how much more affordable, but supply chain sources told DigiTimes that sales prospects for the new 10.8-inch iPad devices are also bright, as the new lineup, which feature high-performance CPUs, will be available at more affordable prices. On June 29, Kuo noted that a 10.8-inch iPad is on the way, and that very well may be the iPad Air 2020. The current iPad Air has a 10.5-inch display, and that doesn't feel quite as significantly different anymore when the regular iPad measures 10.2 inches. iPad Air 2020 specs The iPad Air 2020 might get a lot of hand-me-downs from the 11-inch iPad Pro from 2018. Mikado Kara's aforementioned report references a Chinese supplier who says the iPad Air 4 will feature a USB-C port instead of Lightning. Well, the iPad Air 2020 could also get Face ID if it's heavily based on the 11-inch iPad Pro, the perks wouldn't stop there. 
If it has a similar shape and build, the iPad Air would also support the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard, so you wouldn't be limited to the smart keyboard. Second-gen Apple Pencil support would also likely follow. That's not guaranteed, though, as the outlet does note that the new Air will have a 10.8-inch screen, which might make for larger bezels or a slightly different shape. As for storage, expect a starting capacity of 64 GB. That's both the current iPad Air entry-level capacity and was the storage you got with the 2018 iPad Pro. For a processor, the A13 Bionic makes sense for the iPad Air 2020 if you consider Apple's history of recycling CPUs. The iPad Air 3 features the A12 Bionic, which was used in the iPhone XS and XR phones, the most recent iPhones at that time, and the current iPhone 11 line uses A13 chips. By comparison, the regular iPad runs on the older A10 Fusion Pro. iPad Air 2020 design the iPad Air 4 may not look exactly like the 11-inch iPad Pro. Leaker at L0 Beta Dream posits that the tablet will use the rumored mini-LED display technology that hasn't hit any iPad yet for a full-screen design, with no notch or no face ID camera. Ad L0 Beta Dream also gives hope for a much-wanted return of Touch ID. In the same tweet where they leaked the lack of face ID, they said the tablet will have Touch ID under the screen. Hopefully that technology won't just be limited to the iPad Air, but make it to the iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, since face ID doesn't work when you're wearing a face mask. Rather, Touch ID will be facilitated by an under-display fingerprint scanner, meaning the next iPad Air could look a little like the iPad Pro 2020, only without a camera and the side bezels for Face ID. This is the same type of fingerprint reader that's occasionally been rumored to hit the iPhone 12. L0 Vita Dream is also speculating that the Magic Keyboard may find another iPad to pair with, outside of the iPad Pro. The iPad Air would make the most sense for this, as it's the highest-end non-pro iPad. D20 Outlook All of the iPad Air 2020 leaks point to a fairly important update to the tablet. If all of these rumors hold up, the iPad Air 4 will primarily appeal to those who have found the regular iPad a little sluggish or wish they could charge their tablet with the same USB-C cable they use for their iPad. The USB-C cable will also appeal to those looking to switch from Lightning to the more standard cable that's used for charging MacBooks. An older design with Touch ID and thicker bezels differentiates the new iPad Air line from the 2018 iPad Pro models, as those have edge-to-edge -edge displays with slimmer bezels and no home button. Rather than adopting USB-C like the iPad Pro, the iPad Air features a lightning port at the bottom for charging purposes. At the top, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, a feature no longer present on modern iPad Pro models. Dual speakers are available at the bottom of the tablet, and at the back, there's a single-lens rear camera with no flash. A standard sleep-wake button is located at the top of the tablet, and there's a volume up-down button on the side. Available in silver, space gray, and gold, the iPad Air measures in at 250.6 mm, 9.8 inches tall, 174.1 mm, 6.8 inches wide, and just 6.1 mm, 0.24 inches wide. It's thin, light, and has a larger display than the lower-cost iPad, though it's not quite as large as the 11 and 12.9-inch iPad Pro models. It weighs just a pound, making it a bit lighter than the 10-point Air, much like the 9.7-inch iPad, features a Touch ID home button for biometric authentication purposes. People who prefer Touch ID over Face ID may want to consider the 10.5-inch iPad Air over the recent iPad Pro models for this reason. Touch ID is used to unlock the iPad, access apps, and make purchases with Apple Pay. Smart connector on the left side of the iPad Air, there's a smart connector that's designed to work with the new smart keyboard that Apple has released for the iPad Air. The iPad Air features the same multi-touch fully laminated display as the True Tone support. True Tone adjusts the white balance of the display to match the ambient lighting to make the screen easier on the eyes. If you're in a room with yellower lighting, for example, the iPad's display is warmer in color, so there's not a stark contrast between the color of the iPad and the lighting in the room. For the iPad Air, Apple used the same A12 Bionic chip that's also included in the 2018 iPhone lineup. It's clocked to 2.4 GHz, the same as the iPhone's A12 chip, and the performance is quite similar to the performance of the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max. The iPad Air features an 8-megapixel rear-facing camera with an f2.4 aperture, which is the same camera that's available in the 9.7-inch iPad. It supports live photos, auto HDR, 43 megapixel panoramas, burst mode, and timer mode, but it is not as advanced as the upgraded 12 megapixel camera in the iPad Pro, making rear camera one of the major differentiating fact what Apple calls all-day battery, which means it lasts for up to 10 hours depending on task. That's the same battery life available across the iPad lineup. 
As mentioned above, the iPad Air charges through a lightning port at the bottom of the tablet that works with a lighting to USB cable and included 12 WSB power adapter. The Pado's 13.4 brings trackpad and mouse support to all iPad Pro models, the iPad Air 2 and later, the 5th generation iPad and later, and the iPad Mini 4 and later. According to Apple, trackpad support has been completely reimagined for the iPad and its touch-first interface, though it should still be familiar to Mac users. The cursor displays as a circle that highlights various user interface elements, text fields, and apps on the home screen or dock, making it clear what can be clicked on. Well having be said, please subscribe, like,